Hi guys, this is Max from High on Android. Today I'm going to show you the Microsoft Launcher uh, that just came out a few days ago. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright guys, so this is the Microsoft Launcher. You can get it on the Play Store, it's free. You can go ahead and swipe up to access your app drawer. Um, right now I've got it laterally, but you can also set this horizontal, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, also, if you swipe to the left, you'll be able to access the news, and you have a little glance section that you can go also here. So you can go left all the way to um, section where you can go ahead and customize the feed. Uh, for example, you can put calendar notes to do, uh, recent activities, people, family, documents, and you can go ahead and reorder this. For example, let's say I want notes first, I can go ahead and do that. And boom, I've got my notes up here. And you can go ahead and set um, to-do list, task, and stuff like that. There's also to-do items that you can add. Um, also, you can go ahead and sync the calendar. You can also choose different calendars, which is nice. If you use different calendars, for example, if you use Outlook, um, if you have different Google accounts like I do. Also, you can go ahead and customize the default holidays Samsung calendar. And of course, if you don't like any of this, you can also get rid of this in settings. Um, another really cool thing I really like is that if you're using one-handed, you can swipe up from the bottom navigation bar. Then you can access uh, airplane mode, Wi-Fi. You can go ahead and quickly turn it off, on, Bluetooth. Um, flashlight which is really nice and also it'll show you your signal so I really like that when you're doing one-handed you want to really use a flashlight you can do that gestures are also really good with this um, there's a bunch of gestures you can do so I've got this set to um, double tap swipe up so one tap second tap up it's gonna to go to my camera or anything you want to do to access your launcher settings you can do tool swipe down which is the default um, this is all the settings you can do where you can go ahead and um, customize your feed that I showed you earlier for example for news if you want to get notified of only like money style you can go ahead and select that um, also news markets um, these are all the languages that supports Indian Netherlands um, does it have Korean? Yes, even even had Korean. If I go ahead and choose that, it's gonna bring me um, Korean news. All right, that's really nice. Uh, for those of you not in the U.S. or speak another language, going back into settings, um, you can go ahead and customize gestures. I really like how uh, Microsoft has added a ton of different gestures you can do. Um, you can see this is where you can go ahead and customize, and I've set my double tap swipe up to camera. All right, you can customize this to any of the default uh, launcher actions apps shortcuts so pretty versatile launcher also for search um it does use cortana weather san francisco it'll be an average of 55 degrees fahrenheit right now all right also you can go ahead and use your google assistant weather for san francisco right now in san francisco it's so you have two options to use um voice which is sort of nice all right um there is also a camera button this is microsoft own camera it's interesting um but the barcode is going to be coming real handy or qr code so that's gonna what i'm going to probably use it for mostly um lastly but not least um you can go ahead and hook it up to your microsoft account which i have uh and you can go ahead and back up and restore your launcher and also personalization, of course. Uh, wallpaper options, you can go ahead and set your wallpaper to have a daily slideshow from Bing Daily, all right? Or have even live wallpapers. That's sort of nice if you want new random wallpapers. Uh, themes, I really like this part. You can set it to dark, all right? Accent color, I chose a green, so that's kind of nice. nice. Nice dark theme for saving battery life, especially on Samsung AMOLED or if you're using any OLED screens like LG V40. LG G7. And you can go ahead and change the app folder style, all right? Home screen, you can also customize this here. Customize icons and layout. You can go ahead and change the column to seven by eight if you want. Um, also change the app, con app sizes, all right? That's gonna give me something like that. So I'll be able to fit more apps on a phone like the Note 8 I got here. And my favorite in personalization is actually the dock, which is actually the navigation bar, where you can go ahead and fit up to seven apps. All right, something pretty simple, but pretty cool. I like that. And notification badges, you can go ahead and choose which apps to show notification badges, how many notifications you have. Um, icon packs, you can go ahead and download new icon packs. I'm using just the default Microsoft launcher icons. If you don't like that, you can go ahead and change it. There is a performance mode. Um, I just leave it on. 
And I guess that gives you slightly more visual effects and stuff. Looks pretty good. It's going to be very good for one-handed operation. There's a lot of gesture shortcuts that you can customize like I showed you. I'm also being able to really customize the app. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you. If you want to change um, the app drawer, right, you can go ahead and change it to vertical, alphabetical. So let's say you want alphabetical list, confirm. Now, when you scroll to your alpha, um, app drawer, now you'll be able to access them alphabetically, right, which is really nice. Or if you don't like that, you can go ahead and change it back. Horizontal. I really like the horizontal. Um, makes it easy to access a lot of apps. All right, so that's really nice. Overall, I really like the Microsoft launcher. I think they've put in a lot of time. And um, if you use a lot of Microsoft products, I think there's actually a way to also sync your notes. I've been trying to sync it to my computer, but I haven't made it to work. Um, but I think there's a way. It's got a lot of little things here, you know, it's just easy access to settings. Uh, whenever you're doing something, you can go ahead and access the settings real easily. While I'm not a fan of Microsoft smartphones, after trying the Microsoft launcher, I'm definitely a fan of this launcher. And I think it's really good that Microsoft is making their launcher available to all the Android users. So um, definitely check it out. Even if you don't use Microsoft's stuff, you may actually end up liking this launcher. Yeah, and do let me know what you think. Hit the thumbs up for me. And as always, stay on Android.